Hi, everyone. So who are we? So Target Integration was established in 2008 with the mission that every business should be able to leverage the full power of their business insights. So we have offices in Ireland, United Kingdom, three in India, um, and recently the United States. And we also have a development center in Greece in Thessaloniki. So target integration provide a perfect mix of quality and value. So we basically do implementations, we do integrations for our clients, we do migrations, um, and we just like to, you know, match the best solution with the client's, um, you know, business issues, uh, essentially. So clients come with us, um, cli clients come to us uh, looking for solutions. And even if we can't find the perfect one from them on our side, we will make sure to give an educated um, opinion um, based on what they have given us. In this video, we'll be looking at users, roles, and profiles within Zoho CRM. So as you proceed with setting up the CRM account, your next step will involve adding users and determining their roles and permissions based on which they will perform specific tasks. So let's look at what users are within Zoho CRM. So a user is the one who manages records within the organization whether they're owned or shared by other users. You can add users based on the addition you have purchased and number of user licenses that are allowed. Each user can sign into their account with an email address and a password. You can add users to your CRM accounts and assign them roles and profiles. Note that only after you add a user in your account, you will be able to add new profiles and roles. So for the first user that you add, the system to find role, CEO or manager and profile administrator or standard can be assigned. Now with roles. Also, you want to set up the organization wide hierarchy with roles so you can create roles and assign them to each user. Every user is assigned a role in CRM based on their hierarchical position within the organization. By default, the CEO and the manager roles are available. You can add more roles based on your company's structure. For example, sales manager, sales rep, and set up a role hierarchy. Creating roles will allow you to provide an appropriate level of access to the users depending on their position. And then we have profiles. You can create a profile to find the access permissions to the various CRM modules and features. Profile is a collection of permissions that give users access to a set of tools and features. So once you have defined the roles of the users, you will have better clarity on the type of actions you want them to perform within CRM based on which you can create profiles and assign them to respective users. Like I mentioned previously, we have administrators and standard users. So there are two default profile permissions available. So administrators have access to the entire system, whereas standard users have access to data according to the defined permissions, profiles, and roles in the organization. For example, sales reps, support agents, um, um, and so on and so forth, whereas um, administrators can be your managers and your CEO and um, just other people with supervisory um, powers within your organization. So we will now have a look at setting up user roles and profiles within Zoho Sierra. Thank you.